I'm Charlie Milburn for the MD News Network. We're talking to Dr. Paul Frisch, Chief Technical Officer of RFID and Healthcare Consortium, a nonprofit vendor neutral organization dedicated to educating healthcare professionals about radio frequency identification technology uses in healthcare. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Frisch. Tell us, what was the impetus behind the creation of the Hospital Patient Smart Room RFID Showcase? Yeah, the main purpose of uh, creating the showcase is really based on trying to convey and extend the knowledge of the application of RFID, potential applications of RFID, as they integrate into the healthcare space. Uh, most of the hospitals deal with a variety of technologies, and RFID really provides a connectivity piece that enables identification and association to tie many of those applications together. How did you decide what to include in this highly integrated environment? Well, the brainstorming process was really based on looking at the technologies that most hospitals currently have and looking at the directions that they want to move in. And most hospitals are moving into some very clear directions, focusing on device interconnectivity, being able to take physiological patient-related data, put it directly into the electronic medical record. And that, uh, in, that starts to develop into a variety of different type of issues. Some of them have to do with identification and association. So how do you accurately identify which patient's data is correlated to which device and where does it go in the medical record? And how you do that is you know, fundamentally either a barcode or an RFID type of technology. The other piece really has to do with a visual, visualization of what's happening on the hospital floor. So there's a lot of complex processes going on the ability to track of where you are, where your staff is, what they're doing, what they're act interacting with, where the patients are. It adds an entire different dimension to the operability of a hospital floor, increases the po potential for patient care and safety. For hospitals, what are some of the obstacles to replicating the RFID hospital patient smart room environment? Do you think it's something hospitals could readily accomplish today? You know, I think the vendors are always worried about competition and working against each other. But I think the vendors are starting more and more to inc realize that there's a lack of ability to provide a total solution in this particular area. And they, they are somewhat dependent on collaborating with each other to their generate a hospital-based solution. So in a hospital environment, I think there is some politics involved to, to work with your vendors and ensure that your vendors actually uh, move to the right direction. But most of the vendors can no, no longer provide a complete solution to solve the hospital's issues dealing around connectivity and identification. So it's almost required that they collaborate at some specific level. So I think in a hospital you could actually develop this type of platform quite easily. How does the patient smart room differ from what you might actually see in a patient hospital room? And there's some you know, RF wireless things that you need to consider. In, in a real environment, you wouldn't be running as complex of a scenario as you are here. You would choose one or two specific vendors that your hospital does business with and be able to work out the detail. Here we're running four or five competitive products at one time, all trying to use the same RF space. So it's a little bit more of an intense environment than you would normally have. Now what do you see as the projected timeline for a typical hospital who wants to install this type of smart clinical technology? Well, that's hard to say. The timeline is based on a lot of things. It would take quite a bit of effort to evolve this and it's very hard to predict the timeline. Uh, you wouldn't implement a total solution like this all in one shot. You would attack it probably in a piecemeal uh, type of approach depending on what your priorities and your application are. You would roll out one piece of it, maybe connectivity, and you would then pilot that and make sure that works and then deploy that out. Then add the localization of the identification pieces or whatever your next priority would be. So it could take quite a few years to, to roll out something that would look as an intense as the, in, as the smart room does. Thanks for watching this MD News Network special report and a very special thanks to our guest, RFID CTO Paul Frisch. To visit the virtual RFID hospital patient smart room, watch the companion video on mdnews.com or visit the consortium website at rfidinhealthcare.org. <laughs>